Hi, this is Al Castro. Living great, living great. Never forget, you're like a candle. Life is like a candle. It's spent every day. The wise spending of life brings brings back more blessing in our life. Never stop exploring. Always look and focus on your goals. Nothing is impossible with God. All right? Cool. All right. Uh, I want to share with you today, but first I want to remind you that you are created in the image of God. You have talents in you. You have abilities in you. You have greatness in you. All right? You have greatness in you. And never let somebody stop that from you. All right? I want to share with you uh, today, uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. Proverbs 11, 30, all right? It says here, If the fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. Proverbs 11, 30. When I answered the call of God in my life, I'm a, I'm professionally as a teacher, but when God called me into the ministry and answering His call, my life changed. Not perfect, but my life changed. I begin helping more people. I begin sharing the gospel. I begin giving something that I have. My talents, my gifts, sometimes even what I have, even money. Because when, when you share something, Things will change. It becomes part of your life. When you help the homeless, help the kids in the street, help the kids who are troubled, help the family who are who are uh, separating, helping them out makes your life more meaningful. And I believe this is this is the call of God in my life. Everyone has a call. So I want to share with you that. Because this is very important. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. All of us are like trees. Are like trees. We have fruits. Whatever tree you plant, we're like all of us are like seeds. I am a seed. You are a seed. And the 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 earth, the soil doesn't care about what will be planted. As long as you plant it, it will grow. So like a seed, I want to be with the best seed. Be the best seed. It says here, the fruit of the righteous. The fruit. Remember this. Whatever you plant, whatever seed you plant, you get that kind of fruit. You get that kind of fruit. What kind of fruit? What kind of fruit? I will try to do. I will try to. I will try to plant in our lives. Choose the fruit that you can. Choose the fruit that you, you put in your mind, in your soul. Choose the fruit that you want to plant. If you choose the fruit that you want to plant, Sunday, you know, next month, next year, in the next few years, or if you think long term, whatever you plant, I remember those, uh, those uh, kababai in Filipinos, those who have mango orchard, mango plantation, they said, we planted that 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 10 years ago, now we harvest. Maybe some people here in California too, in other parts of the world, we planted this apple tree, this orange tree. A few years ago, now we harvest. It's like, it's like academic, you know, I, I, I enrolled in this subject a year ago, now I graduated. Or four years ago, eight years ago, or I started saving, now after 10 years, now after five years. Or I started working out a long time ago. Now I'm healthier. Now I got I got stronger. We started this ministry. We started this organization. I started this project in my life a long time ago. Remember this? Harvest says it. The fruit. What kind of fruit? Fruit. Just like when we trust in the Lord, when we have the Holy Spirit in us, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kind, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Whatever you put in whatever you put in here will become like a tree and words will come and take shape 
it means people will come and ask help from you because you've been there. The fruit, the fruit of the righteous. And he who insults is wise. Maybe your life is so convincing that others will say, I want to copy you. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. Be role models. And remember these words today. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he who wins souls is wise. Is your life winning other people? Are our words encouraging people? Are our words a blessing to other people? Or our, our personalities, our lives, the fruit that we are showing, a blessing to other people? Let it be. Because you're great. You're awesome. You're smart. You, are, you were created to win. You're a champion, a winner, and a victor. You are resourceful. You are creative. You are responsible. You are organized. You are lead, a leader. Everything can be developed. Don't be afraid. All right? All right. Never give up. Never give up. Always think positively. Think positive. Have a, have a positive attitude all the time. All right? Pray. If you pray to God, you win. You pray. You confess your sin. God accepts us. He loves us so much. All things are possible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. Visit my Facebook, Al Castro. Write me. You want to write me or visit us every Sunday. All right, at 15949 Kaplan Avenue, City of Industry, California, 91744. All right? Live great because you are great. This is Al Castro. This is Al Castro, your friend. You take good care. All right? You take good care. You're a winner. You're loved. Thanks.